So, uh, hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm George from Flash Skaters. I'm Yara Mel around. And uh, Yara is from Mozambique. And uh, she's in, she has been in Kenya for how long? Now I've been for two months. Okay. In this video, we are going to, you know, we're just going to drive up to Kabazar. Kabazar, yes. But the plan is to ask Yara some questions and also to get to know her better and uh, her experience in Kenya. Yes. Yes, so right now we are uh, living in Nairobi town, Nairobi CBD, and we are heading to, we are heading to Ngong Road. That's the plan. And it's raining, but- It's uh, a cloudy day in Nairobi. It's a cloudy day. But it's and nice and fresh, and I'm sure it's gonna become sunny <coughs> very time soon. Yes, it will, I, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so, I really hope so. So how is Kenya? <laughs> Kenya is great. I'm so happy to be back. You know, I had to, after I finished my visa, I had to go home. Actually, I went to Arusha, Tanzania. Then I went back home to give my passport a break. You cannot apply for long visas like that, back to back, because I'm okay. not a citizen, I'm just a tourist. Okay. So then I was able to go home. I stayed home for three months. You guys were going through protests, unfortunately. So I, I was watching all of that from home. Okay. And I was praying that my friends were safe. And I was I was the top leader of the protest. <laughs> did you did you achieve were you happy with the results of the protests? Uh, somehow, but uh, I think uh, we There's could have done work, better. Yeah. We, we be let the momentum cool and I think that that was the one mistake we did. Yeah, I think by the way guys, back in my country we are having protests now. Okay. And we had seven days of protests, so I think we're also going to let the momentum cool down because people are tired, okay. which is something you shouldn't be, you know, yeah, when you you're shouldn't. fighting for something, you have to be relentless. That is one thing I learned as a Kenyan. Yeah. You shouldn't, uh, you know, you shouldn't let... tire of yes. fighting. So uh, how, how, how long does, uh, when you get a visa, yeah. how long are you supposed to stay in a country? Three months. Three months? Yeah, and then I can renew for another two months. But I thought, uh, do, do your country has like... Uh, affiliate country that give you free yeah that's open border for you guys from mozambique yeah we have open border with south africa tanzania but not for 30 Kenya. days no because huh. uh, yeah we are not east africa we are southern africa so all of the countries surrounding mozambique zambia zimbabwe botswana we have a uh, free pass okay for 30 days all right yeah okay guys so um i'm really happy me and too. at the same time, I'm very excited to do this with you. Uh, first, let me let me get my bearing well, and then we can do the questions. But uh, what's one thing that you like about Kenya? I think it's the people. The people. Yeah, and I feel like the reason why I feel so at home is because I've been able to make friends like you, like the friends that I live with, the other friends I film with, Belnino. I think once you're able to make friends, it's easier to feel at home. Okay. So that's definitely what I love. And also there's so much material to create content. In Kenya. I, yeah, and my Kenyan audience is so supportive. So those are the three things that I love that okay. make me come back. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, you said you're in Arusha. Yeah. But I didn't see any video. Yeah, because I was so tired from the videos I did in Nairobi. I was like, I'll just relax in, cause I'll do Tanzania another time. This is why? Kenya season. Why, why, why are you tired? Content creator is your full-time job. No, but at the time I mm -hmm. was like, I need a holiday because I had been working a lot, okay. non-stop since July. Okay. So it had been one year, no holiday. So I decided to just relax and there was nothing much to film in Arusha. I think when I go now, when I'm ready, okay. I was still thinking about Kenya. You know, I was in Tanzania thinking about all the videos <laughs> I still wanted to make about Kenya. I was like, nah, let me continue with Kenya. Let me not interrupt because I have momentum. So let me continue with Kenya and then once I finish Kenya and then I can do other countries. So uh, what was your first impression uh, when you arrived in Nairobi? Very good because I came through the expressway okay. and my friends told me that they say that Nairobi is beautiful from, from above. Yes, and it's true. So from the drone, from the expressway, I was like, wow, this is like New York. This is heaven. Then you go down, you're like, oh. There's reality. When you cross Waiyaki Way, <laughs> when it's raining, ah. you're like, oh. But it's still a lovely city. And I, 
I, always, I straight away thought it was very developed. You guys build a lot. Your mm. roads are really good for the most part. That's nice. Look, it's raining, but you have good roads. That's really nice. But we could have done better. Yeah, we you can, can do definitely better. do better. Yeah. We can and do I, better. I appreciate that mindset because only with that mindset, you're able to actually do better. Because yes. if you think, oh, this is good, this is it's going to go bad. But when you're always going for more, then your, your baseline is going to be higher. Uh, the, the reason why I say we can do better yeah. is because Tanzania are doing better and, right? they're, and they're not that stable as Kenyan. Yeah, and their the the, economy is not hey, as strong. I so think. now that's why people are very furious. Really? Yes, because Tanzania, if you, if you What see, do you think it's better about Tanzania right now? Let's, let, let me give you the common example. The this is research for my future videos. Yes, electric train. Ah, they just launched the bullet yes. train. Trust me. Ours is expensive than than uh, the SGR. Yes, it's expensive than uh, than that one. Uh, the electric train for Tanzania. Wow. And SGR is the. I will not even suggest. <laughs> I will not recommend you use SGR. But for the experience, you can use SGR. But don't no, use I'll it do. at night. It is the most boring. You think that nighttime train? Yes. It I is was boring. That one from 9 p.m. to. No, it's 10 to 5 to around 3 p.m. Ah, to 3 a.m. Sorry. 3 a.m. It's it boring. It's boring. Personally, I've, I've used but that. But then during the day, what's there? There's a lot to see. Ah, the animals, there's so, uh, the, park. the park and okay, stuff. But at okay, night, okay. it's very boring. Okay, thank you. And also, they restrict people from recording most of the time. Okay, okay. I because tried it's filming. At night, yeah. Yes, I tried filming. Not even at night, even during the day. Mm. They don't, uh, you know, Kenyans. Yeah. Okay, as much as we have freedom, there's yeah. still no freedom. You have like limited freedom. Yes. Have you ever experienced like, uh, you know, someone uh, stopping you from recording or creating content? In Kenya, not yet. Because I also, I'm, I'm also very careful. I plan very well which places to go. Okay. And if I'm going to like a restaurant or a place like that, I always ask before I take out the camera. Okay. Or because I film with my phone, it's more discreet. People think, ah, nobody cares when oh, you're filming okay. with your phone. Now, talking of food, yeah. Uh, have you tried any local foods? And what were your, you know? Yes, I did a video trying Yamachoma. Okay, but... Uh, <laughs> you recommended Green Spot, right? We didn't go there. No, you recommended, because someone said in the comments, you should have gone to Green Spot Kamaki's. But I just went to Kamaki's, the general one. Okay. And, oh God, they gave they gave me bones. That, that was not the best experience because uh, I watched the video and I was yeah. like, what was this? Yeah. Apart from that, apart from the nyamachoma, what's your favorite? I've because tried, now that you are I like in cabbage. Kenya. I like brown ugali. Cabbage. Yeah. You, I like your vegetables. Ah. Sukuma and the, the other ones. So when I was in Iten, I was I tried brown ugali. I love it. You should try the one from Kisumu. Brown ugali. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. Just millet. They I think say the there's a there's a Kisumu restaurant, like a Luo restaurant. Yeah, in Nairobi. Yeah, yes, that's where is. I can find brown ugali. It's called. Uh, the, we have uh, Wapek. Yeah. And uh, I think what's the other name for the other one? I don't know, but there is. I'll, I think I'll remember. Yeah. You should go. You should go. You should. Yeah, go and we try. should go and try Luo Luo specific food. Mm. But yeah, I love brown ugali. I love kachumbari. I love the simple things that you have. Yeah. Nice. So, and Swahili food mm -hmm. as well, chicken curry and tilapia with tomato sauce. Oh, I love that. It's yeah. very similar to the food back home. Okay. So what the like a common a common staple food in for Mozambique? White rice, ugali. Ugali from maize, right? Yours yes. is from maize, yeah. White rice, ugali, and stew. Okay. Yeah, and sukuma greens. For Kenya, I think it's almost the same because ugali, sukuma is the basic basic, basic, basic for, like yeah. in any house you'll get yeah. that yeah so uh you've been to nairobi for how many months now so i've been two months now i think two months so which places have you visited and uh, you know like uh, attracting place let's say like mm -hmm. you as a tourist i'll consider yeah. you that so i've visited counting with the last time okay i've visited um, most of the malls i love going to the malls i see you're a girl i'm just a girl <laughs> I visited KICC, KICC was nice. Okay, yeah, that's very CBD, nice. CBD obviously is nice. I still need to go to Uhuru Park. I haven't mm -hmm. been. You know? No, and it's close by, right? You cross the Mombasa Road. What's wrong with you? No, last time it was closed. They were doing the Maybe renovations. Maybe we can do today. Yeah, if the weather is good. Okay. Um, and then I've been to... 
Ngong, Ngong, Hills. Ngong area. Ngong Hills, I did. Been I've Hills. been to Ngong Hills. How I hiked experience? the first until the last one. Oh my God, it was really, really painful. Okay. I'll never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> like I think next time car. if I go, Use I go car. with the car, I walk a little bit and I come back from the same side. Going to the last hill was exhausting. Oh my God. <laughs> nice one. So uh, what are some of the similarities between, you know, Nairobi and Mozambique? Nairobi and Maputo, which is it's the capital Ma- oh, city. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, it's not, fine. I'm not familiar with um, that. I think there isn't much similarities. Okay. I think Nairobi is more developed, is uh, more organized as a city. Our city is very organized because the colonizers, they organized it well. Oh, okay. <laughs> but our city, the expansion part is not well done because at least here when you move areas, you have everything in each area. Oh, okay. In Maputo, you can move to an area and feel like you still need to take your car to another area just to go do something. Oh. Yeah, oh, okay. so that's one of the bad things. I think Maputo is more similar to Dar es Salaam, okay. but I've never been to Dar es Salaam. Have I've, you been? I've never been, no. Yeah, I've so been. I think it's similar because there's the coast, so it's a coastal city. Okay, that's yeah. nice. Uh, what about the culture? Is there any culture that, you know, like entices you apart from the Maasai, the common one that people know, Maasai, Maasai, everyone, Kenyan Maasai. Yeah, I think I love how you guys have different tribes and each of 47. your... 47. Yeah. I think it's and 50 right now. Really? Yes. And they say each tribe has their own uh, specialty. Yes, food, yeah. culture, Which everything. one is for food? For food, I think... Because uh, money is Kikuyu. Uh, <laughs> That's what uh, they for say. For food, I was, uh, personally, I'd say Luyas. Luyas. The Western. The Western. Western, yes. Uh, Bungoma, Western, where I, Larry was. From, but Kizumi is for Luos, right? Yes, Kizumi is low. Western is for Luyas. Luyas. The, the, they are very muscle, Muscular. like Omanyala. Okay, okay. Ah, that guy. Yes, they love, yeah, you know, He's a sprinter, Ugali. right? Yes, our okay. 100, uh, 100 meters. 100 meters, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, Western, if you go to Kizumu, yeah. known for fish, if you go to... Yeah, because coast, we call them lazy. They are very lazy people. Yeah, and I think it's because they're in the coast. Because we are also very lazy because we are in the coast. I think when you're close to the sea, I love that you, you don't have the that, motivation. Yeah, we are also very lazy in, Mo- in Maputo, in Mozambique. In general, we just like to do nothing and chill. That's why it's hard for us to protest, to go and protest. Because we are, just want to stay at home. We just want to relax. Okay, is it because of the breeze? I don't, I think it's the breeze. I'm sure if we Google it, we will find an, a scientific answer. Why people in inlands, in the coast, they are lazy. Very lazy. I think it's because of the humidity, the heat. Yeah. The sun makes you lazy. So you've been to Kenya? Yeah. And uh, you haven't visited the coastal part. When are you planning to do that? I'm planning to do that maybe December. December? Yeah. You're going when the, sea, the, the rates are high, man. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Ah, December. I'll try to get a discount. December is the rates are very high. If you travel in January, oh, January is good. Luxury. Mm. You'll be spending, I think. Uh, but which day of January? Because people that spend New Year's there, they also stay there for a while. No, people in Kenya, people have got they they go to work. They have they to got to work. money to make. They have to. But what time? So you go to work on the second January? Yes, after holidays, people just go to work. Mostly from third. From third, everything. Yes, is... because there are people close. I think twenty six yeah. up to third. Mm-hmm. Most of the most of the these big offices. Ah, twenty six up to third. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. So yes. maybe January. Ah, uh, January is the best, and also the rates are very low. Yeah. Uh, the rooms. And it's empty because I don't want to go when it's too full. Right also. now, if you go to de- l- let me say December, the beach you will not access beach. It will be full. You can yeah. even go and Google uh, Mombasa Beach during uh, Christmas. Ah. Crazy. What do you think of this road? This is beautiful. It's well done. What's the name of this one? This is Ngong Road. Oh, uh, yeah. About this road, it has pathways and it also it also has cycling lane. Yes, 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 yes. Personally, if you go to my YouTube videos, this is the best road to skate because, because you don't have uh, to be in the middle of the road of the for road, you to skate. Yeah. It has a very nice pathway. Side lane, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we are still cruising. I need to turn it. Oh, that's this Junction Mall. Yes, we are now in Junction Mall. So this is Lovington area? Uh, Lovington area is on the other side. This okay. is Ngong Road. Ngong okay. Road, yes. Uh, since my channel is all about skating, yes. Um, have you explored uh, the skating scenes in Nairobi? No, besides that time with you mm-hmm. in the skate park, I haven't explored anymore. Uh, what so is there to explore? 
everything. <laughs> Besides the skate park, what else is there? Uh, I think uh, just interacting with people and uh, you know getting to know people. But I think uh, you, since you knew how to skate, mm. how can you compare it uh, to Mozambique? I think here there's a bigger skate culture. Okay. In Mozambique, I used to skate in my childhood. But then uh, today I don't see the kids skating. Uh, do you have the parks uh, and the... We probably have two parks. One of them is very far from the city. Okay. So I don't see many children skating, unfortunately. I feel like they should skate more instead of scrolling TikTok all day. Okay. But here there's a much more solid industry for skating, which is very good. Okay. So this is the this is the com a common question that people ask. Yeah. Like uh, being a foreigner, what are the, some of the challenges that uh, you've experienced or faced being in Kenya? I think none, you know. None. Yeah, and that is why oh. because your country is very much ready for tourists. Look at me. I'm. I, I think I'm. Exp I'm <laughs> You're happy. I'm not happy. I'm like I'm. I'm wondering Surprise. how. Yeah. Hey. Wow. Because me as a Kenyan, you hey. face a lot of challenges. Hey. Yes. But also depends. I don't go out a lot. Okay. I go out to film, I come back, I go back home. I go out to eat, I go back home. Maybe you be skating in the roads. Yes. You be doing crazy jumping. things. That's why you have jumping, that's why you have challenges. <laughs> but for me, no, because your country is very welcoming to tourists. So everything that is a problem, there's a solution for a tourist. Okay. Because uh, people are used to catering to tourists, which is really mm -hmm. good. Okay, uh, we are almost, you know, close to our destination. Okay. Uh, so uh, I want us to wind up the video. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, uh, if you're joining the video from this side or this part, maybe you reintroduce yourself. Hi, I'm Yaramel Around. I've been in Nairobi for a few months now and I love Kenya. <laughs> okay, so guys, I'm just catching up with Yara and I'm trying to get uh, views about Kenya and also the experience. Uh, so we are almost winding up the video and I just have some few questions that I'm going to ask uh, her. Um, what advice would you give someone mm -hmm. who wants to come to Kenya from another country, also as a content creator? My advice would be have a nice budget. Okay. Because when you come to Kenya, it's very hard, just very easy to spend all your money. Even when you're making content, you need to try to budget how much money you're going to spend when you're making your content. Every time you go out, you film so you can make the most of your investment when you go out. Okay. And yeah, have fun and collaborate with locals. That is the best thing ever. Like me and George collaborating now. We've been collaborating since last last time. So very, very important thing. Okay. I hope I made the right time. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you've been to Nairobi show. This is where Nairobi show usually happened. Yeah. This side. Mm -hmm. This is where Nairobi show always happens. Okay. And uh, also, we are constructing the stadium on this side, the ah. Talanta Stadium. It's on this side also. Okay. Okay, so just winding up, uh, would you consider coming back to Kenya? Yes. I think at this point, I have to come back to Kenya at least once a year or twice a year. Oh, that's nice. Because it feels like home, you know, we, I, we have to hang out. I have to hang out with my friends. Very true. And there's no, it's a very special country. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's it for this video. I've really had so much fun. Same. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the interview. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes. And uh, if you are, if you want Yara to come back again on this channel, give you it can, a thumbs up. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> also you can, uh, if you feel like I haven't asked her enough questions, you just ask yes, whatever please. questions you have for me. And we're going to do back. part two. Yes. Yeah, we can do part two. I'll come back and answer more of your questions. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. We are here. Uh, this is, uh, I Our think, you can, already, you can feel the cars and stuff. Yeah. All these cars are being sold. Yeah. It's, there are so many of them. So we need to get a parking where we can park our cars. Mm -hmm. Guys, Yara is going to buy a car today. <laughs> Say amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I'm going to buy a car today. Maybe. Yeah, so I need to, this is the car bazaar. Guys, I'm going to end the video here. Kindly consider subscribing if, if it's your first time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I think that's it. That's it, guys. Go to Thanks Yara's channel. Yara Mel around. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to George and give this video a thumbs up. Yes, make sure you comment pineapple on Yara's video. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait for all your pineapples. Okay, cheers, guys. Bye bye. Bye. I'm standing at one of my dream cars that I would like to own. This is a.
Mazda Atenza and uh, I love it. So today I'm in a quest to find cars below 1 million. So guys, uh, I'm not alone. I'm with uh, this beautiful girl. Thanks! Bede, are you single? <laughs> I was gonna say, I like because it's big. But this is genius. People can just come, they pay the fee, and then they... You sell your car. You sell your car. How it looks inside. Look at this. This is the interior of the car. And I... It's so maybe now I love this one. <clears throat> this is another level. It doesn't. Oh, it smells nice. Have a, this is Mitsubishi for 300 Kenyan shillings. 300,000 Kenyan shillings. This is how it looks like. So, guys, this is how the engine of this uh, Nissan what? X-ray. Nissan X-ray.